guys, it's Anzu here, hi! In today's video I'm gonna do a quick swatch and review of all of the 4 Hojo Aristocratic Painting eyeshadow palettes. Each palette has 12 colors, which mean 48 colors in total. Let's go! The palettes in the shades don't have any names. The first palette has deep and rich like wine colors, except maybe for one or two shades. You can see that there are various shades between brown and burgundy white color. The first shade is dark orangey color with a tiny bit of shimmer. The second shade is burgundy wine glitter and keep in mind that this shade have a little bit of fallout and I would suggest you to grab a cotton swab next to you just in case it falls on the wrong place. The third shade has pastel mint green color with big glitters. The fourth shade has glittery green color with a bit of silver glitter. Next we have a pigmented dark coral shimmery shade. The sixth shade is wine shimmery color and the seventh shade is copper shimmery color which is not very pigmented. And then the eighth shade is deep brown matte color. The ninth shade is warm dark brown matte color again. And the tenth shade is cool brown shimmer which is very pigmented. Next we have a nude beige shimmer which in my opinion is good for a base color and the last shade in the palette is matte burgundy purplish color. Overall I think this palette is good for autumn fall season since the colors have common fall kind of feeling and most of them are very pigmented. The second palette have fresh vibrant tropical colors. The first shade in this palette is grey for pink color with slightly shimmery texture. The second shade is white glitter with big stars and heart shaped particles. Also this one is a little bit sticky to keep the big glittery particles on your eye. The third shade is dark orangey color with slightly shimmery texture. Next we have a basic matte brown color. The fifth shade is dark yellow glitter and the sixth shade is warm brick brown shimmery color. The seventh shade is gold slightly shimmery shade with orange undertone. Also this shade is not very pigmented. The eighth shade is vibrant orange with small glitter particles. Next we have a matte dark ashy green shade. The tenth shade in this palette is matte beige which is good for a base color. And next we have another matte neutral shade which is also good for a base color but keep in mind that this shade is not very pigmented. And the last shade in this palette is orange shade with green glitter particles which is very pigmented as you can see on the video. If you like to use a lot of warm tone colors or like warm tone makeup, I would like to recommend this palette. The third palette contains mostly warm colors and it goes along with the renaissance theme. The first color is matte watermelon like shade. And next we have a matte red brick color which is the darkest shade in the palette. The third shade is brick glittery color with medium particles. The fourth shade is copper brown matte color. It also can be used as a base color. And next we have a tangerine like solid color which is also with a matte texture and it's also good as a base. The sixth shade is grapefruit like shimmery color. It has beige pink, yellow and some white glittery particles in it. The seventh shade is peachy pink shimmery color and then the eighth shade is orange brick matte color. The ninth shade is dark brown color with white shimmery texture and I was actually surprised of how soft the texture of the shade is. And next we have a dark matte coral pink color. The eleven shade in this palette is a basic beige neutral color. In my opinion this shade can be used as a base color or to remove the excess oil from your eyelids and it's also not very pigmented. And the last shade from this palette is dark copper glittery shade with big particles. Overall I think this is a good everyday palette because the shades are not as dark as they look. The only thing I don't like about it are the two glittery shades because I feel like they can easily fall out your eyelids and mess your makeup and this is the last palette it have rosy shades this one goes along with the theme of the spring and also the packaging of this palette is actually my favorite the first shade is dark pink glittery color the second shade is basic matte warm rose color the third shade is very pigmented dark brown with orange undertone and white shimmery texture the fourth shade is dry rose shimmery color with small particles the fifth shade is watermelon like color with matte texture the sixth shade is dark purple shimmery color with white particles the seventh shade is very pigmented dark orange shimmery color and next we have a cherry red color with matte 
texture. The ninth color is pink matte shade with warm undertone. Next we have a red violet shade with grayish shimmer particles. The eleventh shade is basic neutral beige color, which can be used as a base color. And the last shade from this palette is matte dusty purple color, which is not very pigmented. Overall, I think this palette is good for the spring since the colors are giving romantic kind of vibes. Also, the packaging is stunning and for some reason it reminds me of the Victorian era. So this was a quick swatch review of all of the four palettes. Also, I'll be doing a few makeup looks, so you can check them out on my Instagram account if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Bye!